Let's talk about GIFs. You know these animated images, like this one over here. I always thought, why would somebody use those in their Power BI reports? However, I found three applications that are pretty cool. Let's have a look. Welcome to How to Power BI. My name is Bas, and if this is the very first time for you visiting this channel, then make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on all of my videos in which I share everything I know about Power BI. Let's dive in straight away and have a look at the first application, which is to use a GIF as a background of a page that needs this little bit extra. Now, of course, we first have to find the GIF. Now, with a simple Google search, you probably will end up on websites like giphy.com or giffer.com and find images like this one. Now, download the image and then go back to Power BI. And Power BI, we can go to the page formatting options and then we can either use the image for the canvas background or for the wallpaper. Now, let's go for the wallpaper which then also includes uh, the space around the, uh, the page. And then here we can choose image and then choose the image. And there you go, here we have our animated background. Now we can also change the image fit from normal to for example, fit or fill. Now let's go for fit in this case. Now, if you find the background a little bit too much, then you can also play around with the transparency. So let's say we want to have the transparency to 50%. And if this is still too much, you can also overlay another shape to make everything a little bit darker. So you could just go here all the way to the top, click on insert, and then go for a rectangular shape and then overlay that with the background of the page. Now you then make it as big as the page itself, go over here to style, and then choose a darker color. Now in this case, let's go for black and then put the transparency as you like, for example, 75%. And you see that makes everything a bit darker. Now on top of this, we can then put our text boxes or buttons that then lead to the different pages in our report. And there you go. Here we have our index page with a GIF in the background. Now, another way in which you can find these GIFs is within PowerPoint. Now, let me show you. Here we can go to insert and then icons. And then here at the top, we can choose videos. And let's say we are interested in mountains. Then you choose the background that you want to have later on. Let's say this one over here looks nice. You insert it and then you can make it as big as the page. And once that is done, you just go back to file. And then here we can click on export and we want to export it as a GIF. And then over here, we can choose what size you want, what quality. Now let's go for the best quality and create the GIF. And then back in Power BI, we can go again to wallpaper and the formatting and then change the background picture by clicking on browse and then choose your PowerPoint GIF. And then you have to change the image fit and there we can choose fit. And there you go. We have our GIF from PowerPoint inside of Power BI. Now the downside of these GIFs is that they can be quite big in size and also the quality is not always great for what you find. Now what would be a better alternative are SVG images. Now, SVG images, you can make them as big as you want and they will still look good. And also the size is much smaller. Now also here you can do a simple Google search and you will find a lot of different SVG pictures that you can use as a background or you can create your own if you know how to do it. Now I found this background over here on flavix.com and I want to use this one in Power BI. So also here we can just download it. Then I go back to Power BI and here I'm going to change the wallpaper again, but now with that SVG image. Again, it is important to choose the image fit that looks good. So in this case, that's fit. The transparency, I don't want to have transparency. I'm going to put that to zero. And in the selection pane, I'm just going to hide that overlay shape that we inserted before. And then I just have to update the buttons so that they match the new background. And also here we have a nicely animated background for our index page, but now with a SVG image, which is more efficient. And now a second way in which you can use GIF images in a practical way, and that is to provide more information or an explanation about your Power BI report or the KPIs that you're showing in your report. Now, first we need a button. So let's go here to insert. And then under buttons, we find information and let's resize that. So now we need to create a GIF with the explanation or the information that you want to show to the user when they hover over the, the information button. Now, how can you create a GIF? Well, there are many programs that let you do this. However, we want to 
record a screen and turn that video recording of the screen into a GIF. Now, this is something you can do in PowerPoint, which everybody has. So let's go to PowerPoint and then we can go to insert and then all the way on the right hand side, there you find screen recording. Just click on it. And now you can select the area that you want to record. Now let's say this area here on the right hand side, click on record and now you can do whatever you want to show. So for example, collapse this and then open it up. And once you're done, you just have to go with your mouse all the way to the top of your screen, click on stop. And now you have your recorded screen inside of PowerPoint. Now you just have to adjust the page size, which you can do here in the design, and then all the way on the right hand side. There you can go for a custom slide size. For example, here we can put the width, let's say to 10, and the height I'm going to put to, let's say 15. Then here, what you want to do with the content in there. So I want to ensure it fits. And then we can just resize it. And then over here, we can again make the page size a little bit smaller until it is exactly in the way I want it to be. Okay, and once this is done, you again go here to file and then export and then create an animated GIF. So now I want to show that GIF in a tooltip when I hover over the button. Now, first we need to create a tooltip. So let's insert a new page. And this is going to be my explanation page that contains the GIF. Now here we can go to format and then page information. And then here we want to turn on allow use as tooltip. And then we go to the canvas background and choose the GIF image that we just created. Once you added your picture, make sure that the transparency is set to zero. And then here we can adjust also the image fit. Now for now, let's leave it on normal. And then the next thing that I would do is go here to view and then page view and then choose actual size. And after that, you go back to the formatting options for the page, go here to canvas settings. And then here we can choose a different size. Now here you can play around with the custom width and height uh, so that it exactly fits that video, that GIF that you just created. So in my case, I changed it here to a width of 300, a height of 450, and the image fit I changed to fit. So now this is done, we can go back to the other page where we have the information button, select it, and now I want to add it as a tooltip. Now the thing is, we cannot add the tooltip to this button, we need to overlay the button with a card visual to which we then can add the tooltip. Now let me show you how. You just insert a card and then you go and add a new measure. And you can call this one info tooltip. And it's just going to contain lots of different spaces. Okay, press enter. And now you take that one and place it on your card. Now we don't wanna show the category label. So here in the format, we can turn that one off, resize it and then we're going to place it above our info button. Now, here we wanna make a few formatting changes. First of all, we go here to the color value and put the color to white so that we don't see these three dots. And then we go to general effects and then here we put the transparency to 100%. And so now we can resize that card and place it right above that information button. And to that card, we can then add the tooltip that we just created before. So go back to the formatting options, general, tooltips, turn on. Here we want to use a report page, which is the explanation tooltip that we created. And now when you hover over the card, you see the GIF with the explanation video. And that's it. So the first two are covered, now application number three, which is a very cool one. And that is to create animated buttons. So for example, when you hover over a button that the icon well, moves in the form of a GIF, or also here you can use SVG images. Now also here you need to do a simple Google search, find your GIFs, it'll probably bring you to a website like this one. Now here I'm on the website called lordicon.com and let's say you like this icon over here. Now, this is the one that I want to have and here I'm going to download it. Now what is important here is that we have a static picture, for example, static PNG, and we have a dynamic picture that moves. So for example, a GIF or a dynamic SVG. All right, now once you have downloaded those, go back to Power BI. And then here in Power BI, we want to insert these images. Now, one thing to be aware of is that when you just go to insert and then choose image, and you choose a GIF image, well, then it's static, okay? So it doesn't show the animation. So the workaround here is to insert a button, which can be a blank button, and then you can go to style, and then here you can choose a fill. And that fill 
can be a picture. Now here you probably want to go for a fit, so that nicely fits. Put the transparency to zero so that you can see it a little bit better. And then you can resize it. So here in the general, you can go to properties and set the size. Now you're probably thinking, why did he go for fill and not for icon? Because here under icon, you now also have the option to go to custom and choose your GIF or your SVG picture. However, if you do it from here, it is static again. So that wouldn't work. Okay, so now we have our GIF, which is nice. However, I only want to show the animation when I hover over it. Now to do that, we have over here the different states. So in the default state, I want to show a different picture than on hover. And that's why we needed the static version and the dynamic one. So here, if I go to default and go back to fill, then I can replace that image. And now I've chosen the static PNG version. And then here the image fit, let's put it to fit, transparency to zero. And then here for on hover, let me just make sure that I have the GIF. So now when I hover over it, it nicely animates. And when I take my mouse away, it stops. So now you can assign an action to this button and you're done. However, what if I also want to add some text to the right hand side of this button, for example, to create a navigation menu. Now, if I go here to text and I turn it on and let's say I want to show sales. Now, let me just increase the text size a little bit. And here I want to show the text on the right hand side. Now you see it's behind the image and it's not exactly what we had in mind. And also by adding some padding or something, you cannot fix it because it doesn't push the text to the right hand side of the image because, well, the image, the GIF, is part of the background. So what we need to do to fix this, well, is just add some white space to the right hand side of our GIF. Now, where can we do that? Again, we can use PowerPoint. So here we basically have to create a button. So what you could do is go here to design and then change the slide size. Again, I would go for custom and here we just need the right dimensions. So we could go, for example, for a width of 20 and a height of five. Now here, it doesn't really matter what you choose. And now we can just drag our GIF image right on top of the slide and put it here on the left hand side or wherever you like to have it and then resize it so that it nicely fits. And once that is done, you again go to file and then you can say export. And then here we want to create an animated image choose the quality that you like to have and also whether the background needs to be transparent. In this case, that's kind of nice and create the GIF. Now the same thing we need to repeat, but then for the static version. And once that is done, we can go back to Power BI and then we can resize it, go back to the formatting options, style, fill. And here we want to change the picture again for the default state and the hover state. Okay, so let's see if it works. I hover over it and you see now the shopping cart moves. If I take my mouse away, it stops. Now what is really nice is that you can also create your own GIFs. So back in PowerPoint, here we can go to insert and then icons. And let's say that we want to have a moving arrow like this one over here. And once you have your image, you can animate it. Now this you can do from the animation step. And here you have all different kinds of animations to choose from. For example, maybe you want to have a fade. Okay, so that it fades in. And then you add another one. For example, maybe you want to have Tita so that it moves a little bit. And now we can keep on adding more animations. For example, go shrink. And maybe you want to add some movement by using motion paths. Now then you have to open the animation pane. And from there, you see all of the animations. Now here we want to run them at the same time. So just right click and then say start with previous. And you have to do that for all of them. When you right click on a certain effect, you also have timing and effect options. Now here under effect options for growth shrink, there you can go and say how much it should grow. For example, maybe just 110, click on okay. And then we can also set it the timing. Now over here, we want to have maybe not two seconds, but maybe one second is enough. You do that for all of the different animations. And then for the path, you can say where it starts, where it should end. And once you're done, you can click on play from the beginning and you see the animation. Now, once this is set up, we just have to save it as a GIF and use it in Power BI like we did before. So now here I applied the same steps as before, but just gave it also a different background so that you can see that there is a transparent background of this GIF. So when I hover over it, you see a nice animation. What you probably also notice at this point is that this animation repeats. Now, if you don't want this or you want to make sure that there's some time in between, what you can do as well is in PowerPoint, 
Here you can add an exit effect, for example, a fade. And then for that effect, you can go to timing. And then here you can set the delay to whatever you like. And then click OK. And also here, you could also choose for SVG images instead of using GIFs. For example, this button over here, when I hover over it, you see we have a nicely animated picture that shows. Now for this particular example, I overlaid the image with the actual button. Now, this is sometimes helpful to create a certain creative effect that you have in mind. Now, if you don't know how to do it, then just check out this video over here. So I hope that in this video, I convince you at least a little bit that animated images can be very helpful for your Power BI reports, even if it's just to show off a little bit. Now, if you have any questions, then post them in the comment section below. And if you got some value out of this video, then consider subscribing. And I want to thank you for watching and I see you in the next video.